Hi, I'm Bruce Hamaker with Turbo Training, and we're going to do today's technician's toolbox tip regarding the 6 liter power stroke fuel system. Of course, the importance of pulling a fuel sample from the filter and inspecting it on a regular basis is a very important task. The style of water drain on a 6 liter power stroke makes this relatively difficult. You'll need a funnel and a clear jar to take a sample for examination. The factory water drain is somewhat difficult to work with. I would suggest upgrading to the later water drain, which is Ford part number 6 Edward 7 Zebra 9 Charlie 082 Apple or international part number 2589 259 Charlie 91. List price on these is around $16. Use of this drain will make taking a clean fuel sample much easier. If you have water in the fuel tank, there is a TSB that applies to all the trucks TSB 072404, which involves removing the mushroom vent cap from the fuel tank and replacing it with a length of hose. The vent cap is in a location that allows melting snow to pool and be sucked in as water into the fuel tank. This upgrade should keep the problem from reoccurring. It is very critical to check fuel pressure under load. If fuel pressure is low at full load, it will cause repeat failure of the fuel injectors. The electric fuel pump is considered a pattern failure item on these engines and fuel pressure needs to be checked on a regular basis. The fuel pressure is usually 50 to 55 psi at wide open and full load which means 45 to 55 miles an hour. If it is too low, restricted filters or a weak pump are usually at fault. If the pressure is too high, suspect a leaking injector o-ring which means you'll need to do the balloon test or internal leakage in the injector that pressurizes the fuel system. There could be a big problem with the fuel pressure regulator to cause this also. Contamination from the fuel tanks has been an occasional issue either from rust or delamination of the tank lining. If the tank lining has delaminated, the tank will need to be replaced. If there are rust in the filters, it will cause repeated failure of the injectors. I have even seen an EVAN fuel heater causing repeated PCM fuse failure. In this particular situation, the pump assembly was only two weeks old. Thank you very much from Bruce Ambaker with Turbo Training.